Hey guys, it's Patrick with MT Knives coming to you today with today's Expert Counsel segment of the week. This is a segment that I do for the Survival Podcast. Viewers send me questions and I answer them. So we're going to start putting these up here on YouTube. If you'd like to check out the podcast, I'll put a link in the description below. Today's question comes from Andrew. He says, is there any way to change the finish look of a knife? I'm looking to build a knife from Knife Kit. The blade that I like comes in a satin finish 440C stainless steel. I would prefer the look of a black stone wash D2 steel. What can I do to achieve a similar look? Thank you for your help, Andrew in Texas. Thanks for the question, Andrew. So in order to stone wash a knife, we need to get a black finish on it first. And the way you go about that depends on the steel itself. But the process is pretty well the same. You might have different results with different steels. The difference that you're going to use is the type of asset and the duration of the edge. We're going to start off by cleaning the knife real well. Some of the supplies you're going to need, you need PPE, so some like latex gloves, safety glasses, long sleeve shirt, that kind of stuff. Any kind of PPE that you would use because you're going to be working with acid and you want to keep from getting it on your skin or in your eyes. You also will want some acetone or some something to clean the steel to get any grease or oil off of the blade. You're going to need some an acid. A lot of people use ferric chloride acid. I believe you can also use like muriatic acid. With high carbon steels you can use an acid like vinegar. It doesn't require such a strong acid but with the stainless steel you need to use an acid that's a little more uh, aggressive. You also are going to want some string, a stick, a uh, container to etch this knife in. So we're going to start off by cleaning the steel with some acetone and a paper towel. Be sure to wear some gloves and just give it a good scrub down and get any oils that may be on the steel off. The cleaner the steel is, the more consistent the etch is going to be on the, the knife. So what happens a lot of times if you don't get the steel clean properly, when you stick it in the acid, it's going to be, your results are going to not be, they're going to be blotchy or there's going to be spots that don't take the edge. Some people will actually put the knife in the acid, pull it out, scrub it, put it back. So you're going to have to make a solution of the acid. You're going to have to dilute it down. Now, some people do just go ahead and etch the knife in pure acid. If you try to use pure acid, you're not going to have as much control with it. So I would suggest doing like a 3 to 1 mix or a 50-50 mix. What that's going to change is the amount of time that you have to leave the knife in the acid. Whenever you mix up the acid, you want to put the water in your container first and add your acid to the water. Keep that in mind. We're going to add the acid to the water. We're going to mix it up. And then you'll put your knife into the acid. Now, some people will just stick it straight in the container. Uh, I would suggest tying a string to it and then putting a stick or something across the top of the container that's going to hold, that's going to suspend the knife in the solution. If the knife is leaning against the side of the container or flat in the container, it may not get an even etch. By hanging the knife in the solution, you're going to help get a consistent finish. It also makes getting the knife out of the container when you're done easier. The etching process can take hours or even days depending on how strong your acid solution is with the 50 50 or you know the stronger solutions it's going to take a lot less time but you're going to have to be careful not to over etch your knife i've heard of people sticking their knife in the solution and pulling it out and a lot of the knife is dissolved <laughs> so you don't want to do that that, that's why I would suggest starting out using like a 3 to 1 ratio and then put it in the solution, come back, check it in a half an hour, check it in an hour, check it in 5 hours and 10 hours. You're going to kind of know right away how fast it's etching. With a 3 to 1 solution, it could take up to 30 hours to get a good etch on some steels. Once you've achieved the desired darkness of the steel, you're going to have to pull the knife out of the water and clean it off. Being careful not to get acid on, on things. And then I like to neutralize that acid 
with a base. So, something like baking soda. Some people will use Windex, but you want to pull the knife out, neutralize it, clean it off, and get that reaction to stop. And then you might want to go ahead and oil the blade. So once you have your knife etched, now it's time to tumble your knife. There's many different ways to achieve a stone wash finish. I personally have a vibratory tumbler. It's not necessarily the cheapest option and I've purchased media for stone washing knives. And there's a plethora of different type of media, size, shape, and abrasiveness to give you a wide variety of finishes. But this can be done very basically with something like a Gatorade bottle uh, and rocks from your landscaping. You wanna get your Gatorade bottle or some kind of container that's big enough for the knife to fit in and place some rocks in it, place your knife in it, fill it probably halfway full of water and add a little bit of soap to it. And then once you have the, the rocks, the water, the soap, you can suspend your knife in the bottle, still on a string, which will help you get it out, and then screw your lid on and give it a shake. Now, we're not trying to kill it. You know, you don't have to get super aggressive with it. Just a light shake, and it helps to do like a circular motion when you're shaking this bottle. So you're going to want to stick the knife in, shake it up for 5-10 minutes, pull it out, clean it off, check it, see what it looks like, and it will take some trial and error. A lot of it's going to depend on the rocks that you use, the steel that you're using, um, and whether or not you're going to get a, a look that you're going for. So as you can tell, this process can be very simple or very complex. And with a lot of things in knife making, knife makers do a lot of experimental stuff. You learn by the experimentation of trying different things. So Andrew, thank you for your question. I think this is a great project for you to try something, experiment with, see how it goes. And it's gonna give you something a little more unique than the run of the mill knife kit on the market. It'll help your knife to stand out and look different from the rest. So I appreciate the question. Feel free to send me your questions at patrick at mtknives.net. Also, I'll work on a video on how I stone wash some knives. I'll probably stone wash some talon knives for you guys and you guys can see that process too. So thank you for the question. This has been Patrick Rorman with MT Knives. Have a great day.